this video starts, I want to give quick shoutouts to you guys who commented on my last video. Big shoutout to you guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shoutout in the next video, all you guys have to do is just simply leave a nice comment down below under this video. Also guys, I want to announce that I have a gaming channel called Lissy's Life and I'm posting daily gaming videos on there. Go subscribe! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, well, honestly, I don't blame you. Hi, my name is Lissy, and I do kind of weird content. I usually do arcade videos, but since all the arcades are currently closed, your girl is resulting into trying some new types of videos. And as you guys know, lately the thing has been testing viral TikTok hack. And I literally love testing hacks. For some reason, it's just really intriguing to me to see if they do or don't work. So today we're going to be testing and doing a part two of the food hacks video. If you guys have not seen part one I'll have a link in the description and the pinned comment down below also if you guys have not <laughs> also if you guys have not noticed I'm wearing my new merch I just released this new hoodie it is the arcade fam hoodie and if you didn't know it has me on it well me ow my nails falling off it has me on it, it has my dog on it, there's Trixie right there on the shoulder, there's claw machines and all that cute good stuff. All you guys gotta do is go to www.listenoel.com to check out my merch for sale on my store. But yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this video gets to 3,000 likes again, we will do a part 3 of this testing viral TikTok food hacks video because I think you guys have been enjoying this. Also be sure to subscribe or else um, the very scary thick Trixie will come for you at night and take all of your cookies and nobody wants that. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get on to part two of testing viral TikTok food hacks. Okay guys, so the first one we're going to be testing today is this whipped strawberry milk one that I found on TikTok and I thought this was so, so, so cute because I've seen the whipped coffee but I haven't seen the whipped strawberry milk and you guys know I love cute things, cute drinks, pink. Specifically, I love the color pink. So I thought we had to try this one out because it looks scrumptious and I think it was really unique and cute. So we're gonna go see if this recipe slash hack actually works. For this recipe, strawberry Hershey syrup is optional. Nesquik powder, milk, and heavy whipping cream in a cup. Now these are the ingredients to create the ultimate kink cow Trixie. So you're gonna start by just scooping one tablespoon of the strawberry Nesquik, and we're gonna put that into our bowl. And then you're gonna take four tablespoons of the heavy whipping cream and add it in there. And then you're just gonna whisk it up until it's nice and creamy and thick. Ultra thick. You want to wait until there's peaks and then of course you're going to pour in your milk into your cup with some ice I also added some ice because I felt like that would be better and I poured my whipped cream that I made on top and that's it guys It looks super cool All right, so we just finished drink number one I'm gonna put the straw in it as you guys see here. This is what it looks like. It's actually really cute looking and super aesthetic It's like a whole entire Pink drink, a pinkity drinkity sisters. If you know the reference, you know the reference. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try it. I actually used to love milk when I was younger. However, now that I'm like older, I really don't drink milk a lot, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or hate this, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so only the bottom just tastes like straight up milk. So I'm gonna have to go for the top to get some of that strawberry flavoring. Whoa! Okay, that's actually like so pleasantly surprising. That whipped topping, it has way more flavoring than I was expecting. It tastes like super, super good. It's like really tasteful, like strawberry whipped cream. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I know I'm not like a big milk drinker because I think milk is gross, but honestly, this is pretty good. I am living for this. I like this. I'm gonna give this a solid 8 out of 10 on the scale for the taste rating. Whipped strawberry milk is really good. I still have to try whipped coffee sometimes because I know that's a trend, but this is a really cute version of that sort of trend with the whipped drink. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Let's try the next recipe. Alright guys, so the next one we're going to be attempting to try today is this healthier one. And you guys have been asking from the last video for me to do a healthier recipe. Um, so here it is. As you guys can see, it is a healthy banana yogurt dipped frozen banana a treat. Um, I'm not a big fan of bananas, but it is one of the only fruits I kind of tolerate. I do eat them sometimes, but just not often. Um, I usually put them in like chocolate or peanut butter, so we'll see how I like this one. So I guess let's test it out and see if this is a really healthy snack um, and a good resort for a unhealthy snack to snack on. Let's give it a shot and see how this hack works. For this next recipe, you'll need some bananas, sprinkles, and some yogurt. So taking my banana, I just peeled it up and I cut it into a bunch of little pieces, just like so. And then once I've had all my banana pieces cut up, 
we are going to just take our yogurt and we're going to dip our banana into our yogurt but as you can see here i tried using a toothpick and that didn't exactly work out so i had to use a spoon to cover up all the yogurt on top of the banana pieces and then i'm going to take it and put it onto my tray to be frozen and you're gonna leave that in the freezer until it's nice and frozen and i also added sprinkles on top for a little extra something because i felt like it made it look so much cuter i mean look at these they look like little desserts i just repeated that same step with all the other flavors of yogurt that i got and i kept on sprinkling all the sprinkles on top they look really good they look like cake honestly which i love i love cake so yeah then we're just gonna put them in the freezer and they look like this when they're done super pretty honestly all right so here is our healthy super adorable tree you guys asked from the last video to do a healthy tree um, and I should try a few more if I do another part of this video. Uh, definitely do like one of just like the healthiest, best tasting TikTok recipes. But yeah, it looks super cute. Um, I'm not a big banana fan, but I will try it for the video. And um, hopefully it tastes good because it looks cute. You could literally trick somebody into thinking these are cake pops and give them to them. And then have them be all shocked like a prank. But I'm going to get a fork here out of my jeweler. And give this a taste. I'm going to try this middle one right here. All right, here goes nothing. Banana yogurt bite. I'm hoping it tastes okay. <laughs> Yum! I love healthy food. <laughs> okay, it's not bad. It's just that I'm not a big banana person. <laughs> I don't like healthy food. It's not terrible. Like, I can tolerate it. I think the yogurt part is a lot better than the banana. I just don't like frozen bananas that much. I don't know, maybe it's just a personal preference. I'm not a big frozen banana person. Like, as you could tell, I was kind of struggling to swallow that banana. Wait, that didn't sound right. I was kind of struggling to eat that. But, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Um, for a cute snack, I mean, if you love bananas, this is your thing. Do I love bananas? Not that much. I usually only can eat them with like peanut butter and chocolate. I'm a very picky eater and healthy snacks are hard for me. So yeah, five out of 10 could be worse, but not the best. Okay guys, so the next food hack slash recipe is this one right here where you put a stencil on top of your coffee or your hot chocolate and you pour on a topping to make a really cute design on your drink and it's super Instagrammable and adorable. And I've had coffees like this when I go out to really cute like coffee shops in LA, you know, and they put the little hearts on there with all the whipped cream and I'm always like, how do they do that? And I guess they do it with a stencil like this. So hopefully this works because if it does work, then I don't have to go out to the cute little cafes to do it. I can just do it from home. So I really hope this works because that would be so, so cute. Let's go test this food hack out. For this one, you need some hot cocoa or coffee, some whipped cream, some cinnamon, a stencil of a shape you want, and of course, I just made my hot chocolate, and I took my Ready Whip and I sprayed it on top. Oh, that's actually really satisfying. I spread it out with my spoon, and I made it really flat so we can use the stencil on top of there. After that was done, I put my stencil on top, and I took my cinnamon, and I started to sprinkle it all over the design. And after I took it off, I kind of realized, well, that did not work at all, and it was a really bad failure but i tried putting it back on and kind of got a heart but not really so uh as you guys could see here my beautiful cinnamon heart was um not so beautiful <laughs> wow that was like the biggest fail i've had yet from this tiktok's like life hacks this life hack doesn't work guys okay i wasn't really surprised because i don't have like the professional stencils or the professional equipment for this one like the beautiful baristas and coffee shops do uh, my heart looks like a whole mess it, i can kind of see the heart shape somehow but it's definitely not there but needless to say i like uh, some hot chocolate so it's still good hot chocolate but the heart ain't there the heart is not there for the instagrammable cute coffee picture so i'm gonna have to give this life hack a solid one out of ten because it doesn't work and if it did i did it completely wrong so yeah that's our first fail we've had so far with this food stuff honestly so i can't really complain but would have been cool if that worked though because like the whole idea of it was really cute all right guys and the final one we're going to be doing is a secret recipe from my family this is one my mom has been doing we're actually going to try something we're going to see if we can make my own tiktok recipe go viral so i'm actually going to put this up on tiktok um 
and see if we can get this to go viral and make our own recipe slash food hack and see if you guys like it. But yeah, we're going to be showing you guys how to make it on this video and giving it a taste test here because I haven't had this one since like, dang, I probably was like maybe 14 the last time my mom made this for me. Um, but we used to make this all the time when I was younger, so I'm really excited to try it because I haven't had this drink in years and it's really good. So let's get to testing it and trying it out. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need some frozen pink lemonade, ice, sherbet, and some Sprite. So taking one tablespoon of the frozen lemonade and some Sprite, you're going to pour that into your glass and you're going to give it a good old stir. And once you stir that up, you're going to take two scoops of rainbow sherbet and put that on top and that's it. It's super simple, but it actually looks and tastes literally so amazing. Creamy rainbow lemonade, that's what my family likes to call it, creamy rainbow lemonade. Um, but yeah, it's super cute, it's an amazing party drink, and we're just gonna give this a nice taste. It's absolutely amazing. I remember having this as a kid, my mom would always make it for parties and stuff. Woo! That do be hitting different! And when I say it be hitting different, guys, if you try my family's secret recipe, tag me on Instagram and show me the drinks you guys make, because this be hitting solid, like 10 out of 10! It's really cute so 10 out of 10 I love this recipe and hopefully my TikTok goes viral on this because my mom's desserts are fire so guys that was going to be it for today's testing viral food hack slash making recipes slash TikTok stuff video I hope you guys enjoyed it I had a lot of fun making some recipes and cooking and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something from this video if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the arcade family today and also be sure to hit a like on this video if you guys want me to do a part three of testing viral TikTok food hacks. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Remember to follow my Instagram at Lissy Noel, Twitter at not Lissy, and my website at www.lissynoel.com to shop the merch. I love you guys all so so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Arcade Fam! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.